you believe they made us come to school on a Saturday? The nerve of these people. Perks of being in the school musical, I guess. I'm already here for five days of the week, and now they want six? That's just greedy. Did you notice the date today? It's the 13th. One whole year without Meredith. I saw. There's not a day that goes by where I don't think about her. The school just feels so empty without her. She would have loved the musical we're doing, huh? Yup. Did you memorize your lines? Barely. Did Mr. Jax really think I'd have time to memorize 10 pages of lines? What a joke. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, we're stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck. God damn it, Nora. Can you calm down for five seconds? We're gonna be fine. We just need a call for help. We'll be out of here in like five minutes. It's no big deal. What the? Ronnie, what's going on? Nobody's answering the call. We're trapped in here. Trapped? No service. Are you kidding me, Nora? Get off the floor and stop being so dramatic. We're gonna be fine. We're just going to be in here a little longer than we thought. Hello? Can anybody hear me? We're trapped in here. Somebody help us! Now I won't even get to perform my solo. I'm claustrophobic, Ronnie. Maybe if you stopped thinking about yourself for five seconds, you'd be able to help me. I wish Meredith were here. She always knew the right thing to say. Can you stop talking about Meredith? I don't want to think about her right now. You never want to think about her. It's like her death was some huge inconvenience for you. You don't even care about her. Sorry it can't always be about you, Ronnie. Of course I care about her. I feel so damn guilty, Nora. Can you just drop it? Guilty for what? What was that? Don't, don't change the subject. What do you feel guilty for? Veronica, what did you do? I was there when she drowned in the river. She wasn't alone on that walk, that last night of the trip. I was with her. It was past curfew, but she insisted. She just needed to get away. She was so upset. I was trying to make her feel better and... And? <laughs> I pushed her. I didn't mean to. I didn't think she'd lose her balance, but she did. One second she was right next to me. The next she was underwater. She kept crying my name, screaming for me to help her, but I just couldn't move. It was like I was paralyzed or something. You let our best friend die. I didn't mean to, Nora. What was I supposed to do? You could have gone in after her, but... God forbid you get your clothes wet, right? It wasn't like that. I wanted to help her, but I just- You just what? You didn't care enough, that's what. You are so fucking selfish, Veronica. You never even deserved Meredith. We both know if the roles were reversed, she would have saved you in a heartbeat. I didn't care enough? What I did was an accident, but- But you knew exactly what you were doing that night. What the fuck? Oh my god. Somebody please help us! We're trapped in here! The whole reason she wanted to go to the river was because of you. You broke her heart. That wasn't my fault. Then whose fault was it, Nora? 
you knew she had feelings for you, and then you tossed her aside for your dumb boyfriend. Who fucking does that? She was obsessed with me, Ronnie. What was I supposed to do? She was like a puppy. If I said jump, she'd jump. You knew how much power you had over her. You knew exactly what you were doing. So what? We were just having fun. It didn't mean anything. It's not my problem if she took it as more than a one-night fling. You didn't act like it was just a one-night fling. I saw how you acted with her, Nora. How can you say that didn't mean anything? Because I got over it. It's not my fault that she didn't. She couldn't believe you'd choose Mark over her. I will never forget the pain on her face that night. God, who fucking cares about what I said that night? It's done, it's over with. It doesn't change the fact that you let her drown. You know what, Nora? Maybe we wouldn't have gone to the river if it weren't for you. Have you taken a minute to think that, that maybe this is all your fault? Our best friend is buried six feet underground because of you. God damn it, Veronica, it was you who were the one buried six feet underground. <laughs>